Every day, thousands of people drive past this seven-foot-high anonymous Confederate soldier in Alexandria. He looks south towards what was once a confederacy of slave-holding states defeated in a civil war that almost tore America in half. The statue is one of roughly 1,500 Confederate symbols on public land in the US. Virginia is the state with the most, and now Alexandria's city council wants this one moved. It's the prominence of Confederate statues like this one that's being debated across America. Are they important historical monuments, or do they glorify an era of slavery and racism? I don't think there's really a place for them, like in the middle of towns, kind of glorified. Um, there's probably a place for them in like a museum or something. They should be removed because of their offensive nature to so many people, but preserved because they are wonderful pieces of works of art. The violent protests by white supremacist groups against the removal of a Confederate monument in Charlottesville have thrust a debate about US history back into the national spotlight. Polls suggest just over half of Americans think Confederate monuments should remain in public places. Many of them, like conservative writer Jarrett Stepman, believe there's a danger that by removing statues, America's history is being erased. Some of these statues have different meanings to different people. Yes, they, they cause some consternation. Some people are get offended by certain statues. But, you know, if every statue that we find offensive is to be taken down, we're, we'll soon be at a point in this country we'll have no statues at all. Just a few blocks west of Alexandria's Confederate soldier is a bronze sculpture of Mary and Emily Edmondson, two sisters freed from slavery who campaigned at the forefront of the abolitionist movement. John Taylor Chapman is a city councilman in Alexandria. As well as moving Confederate statues, he wants towns and cities to do more to reflect African-American history. There are so many different types of people making a difference in our communities uh, and our nation uh, is something that we are embracing now. Uh, and so we're starting to peel back some of those other stories that uh, have been hidden from history uh, to recognize those people for uh, what they brought uh, to our communities. A decision on whether to move Alexandria's Confederate soldier now lies with Virginia's State Council here in Richmond, where the landscape is littered with Confederate monuments. More than 100 years after America went to war with itself, the wounds remain raw and the country is still grappling with its short history and how it should be told. Harry Horton in Alexandria, Virginia.